Hey guys, welcome to That Game Show, the show that talks about all the stuff in the nerd world and all the stuff in between. Happy New Year to you guys. Thank you guys very much for joining us, whether you're watching us on YouTube or listening to us on Podcast Garden. Thank you for making us a part of your day. I am Chase Bunker, alongside the half-Asian sensation, it's Curtis Ko. How's it going? And he's player three this time, Daniel Clegg. That's right. I'm, I think I can claim this spot permanently now. You can. I hear more often. Murph's doing much more important stuff right now. Yes. <laughs> yep. We are back from our little hiatus with our legal venture. Well, I say legal just to make the story sound cool. No, we just took a break <laughs> for Christmas. Uh, yeah. Did you guys do anything? Did you guys do anything special for Christmas or any funny stories? I got sick as a dog, and I'm That's there right. now. You guys got so. the AIDS. We got no. I I am coining this. It is the Krampus flu. The Krampus we flu. Were, we were bad this year, and Krampus came along and gave us the flu for Christmas. Oh, I was gonna call it the Christmas crud, the holiday hurls, the New Year's nasties. I actually didn't oh the New Year's nasty. I think I think the worst of it was the hot and cold. It's like you just get start getting warm, and all of a sudden it's oh god, it's too hot. And you take out the blanket, and suddenly it's like I'm freezing. Yeah. And it's like that every ten seconds. I was so tempted to quote Katy Perry when you're like the hot and the cold. It's like don't yeah. do it, don't do no. it, don't do it. It, it it was definitely like that, and I just am now starting to get functional again. So awesome. So, it's so get your flu shots. Yeah, <laughs> Clegg, you actually this is your first Christmas being married. How was that? Yes, yeah. um, it was good. We spent it just two of us um, home, and we went to go see. Her parents uh, the morning after, and my family the day after. Um, but we got to have the Christmas day to ourselves, which is really nice. nice. Really nice. That sounds fun. Um, we, my family and I, we drove up to North Carolina because for some reason my family's like, "Hey, let's all drive up as a family." And so, like, I'm in a car with my sister for ten hours, and it's like, I hate. I realize, like, I hate road trips, mm-hmm. like. <laughs> I it's it's I, like a ten hour road trip on ninety five, it's boring. Is what it really well, is. One thing I have noticed is if I'm driving, I'm totally okay with road trips. If I'm not driving, they drive me insane. You're bored as hell. Sure. Yeah. Well, the weird thing was like seeing like all the gra- gas prices go down. Like we literally like in South Carolina, they had gas for a dollar ninety nine. We're like, what? We need to get gas now. And so yeah, we right. immediately pulled over. We didn't need it. We were like half a tank, but we still <laughs> got it. Um, it was a very eventful one. Like I thought I was going to die because of the way it started. We drove up to North Carolina, and the slope up there, like, it is steep. And when I say steep, I mean, like, you're going up on a roller coaster steep. So my – yeah, so my dad – he reaches up there and he's like, okay, I don't have enough power, I don't have enough speed, let me reverse and get some more traction. But everything's blocked behind him. So, like a normal person, normally you'd look behind you, not my father. He decided to just, like, you know, keep going in reverse, like, you know, I'm just gonna let gravity take this. And he dr- almost drives us into a ditch. And mm-hmm. I'm like, Dad, you should stop. Dad, you should stop. And finally, it took me opening the car door while it's moving from the stop. It's like, okay, fear for my life. That's what stops him. <laughs> That'll do it, right? That was it. Which, thank uh, God, because uh, there was a giant rock that almost rammed into it. Um, God. Yeah, so then the next day, we went to uh, High Falls Trail, which is a beautiful area. And there was, a bunch, there was like a river, and there was a bunch of rocks. And I like, you know, jumping rock to rocks. I like the Prince of Persia. And so I'm just jumping all around and such, and... You shouldn't try to cre- recreate every action in that game. I shouldn't have, because... <laughs> you can't reverse time. Hank, no. You can't prove that. And so I jump onto a rock, and it was I was trying to recreate my Tahoe picture, which you've guys seen my Facebook, like the one behind the wa- in front of the waterfall. Okay. okay yeah. yeah. And so I jumped onto this rock, and it was just slick enough to where like I'm on it, but I'm slowly sliding down. Like this is like cartoon style. Like I'm trying to claw up, and I get soaked. And I thought it was gonna be ankle deep water. Oh no. Oh, no, it wasn't ankle deep at all. It was waist deep. Or, like, no, it was higher than waist deep. Mind you, I'm 6'2". And so, like, that's pretty deep. And I still uh-huh. didn't touch. And so, oh, my iPhone, I thought I gave it to someone. Nope. Uh-huh. That got soaked, which, thank God for rice. I temporarily became a woman for about five minutes. <laughs> Just in the pitch of your voice. Oh, my And, and the God. shrinkage. 
oh shrinkage for <laughs> days that sucked and so it's like as soon as i get to the trail i'm literally just like i throw all my clothes off which i'm fairly good at for like being so quick at it and i'm literally just like in a towel for like the drive back just going like <sighs> well that happened so how cold was it up there i mean was it, was it, it, on the... it wasn't bad like we're in florida and it's cold like the nights are colder now than it was up mm. there. Like, I think the worst okay. it got to was 30s, but the average was like about the 50s, which was fine. Okay. It was like nothing too bad. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't, I don't tolerate the cold very well. So they're like, hey, let's go outside, and like, like no, I want to stay in here where it's warm. Also, not I have shrinkage fault. for days. Not so your fault. you live in Florida. I know. I, yeah, I, I drink, do not yeah, tolerate the cold. Hey, yeah. I, 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 I was born in Florida, and I did, did okay. Do. Um, well, you know. I don't have an excuse for you. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> something we did do that was fun was uh, for Christmas I I bought the extended editions of all the Lord of the Rings movies. Oh, nice. So on our road trip, we had listened to the unabridged and the dramatized versions of the first uh, <laughs> book, and then we watched the extended edition of the first movie, which was pretty awesome. So nice. Uh, yay, Lord of the Rings. Yay, Lord of the Rings. But one thing that sucked was that the fact that I didn't have any. I barely had any signals, so I couldn't Wi-Fi. I couldn't do, like watch any videos, but I was still able to participate in a Steam sale. And that's nice the segue to our next topic. Nice transition. Thank that's you. All. That was really good. Thank you. Um, we had the Steam sale going on. It went on from December 18th to the 2nd, and I, I kind of wish we didn't go on a break so we could actually like talk about like, hey, some of these great deals that happened. Go buy this game. Go buy that game. So I guess these are games to check out for next time. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a lot of great sales. Um, how much did you guys actually spend overall? Uh, if you had to take a guess, I well, well wait, are we talking about on ourselves? Or yeah, on, or on, our, on our on yourself, how much did you spend? I oh. spent ninety nine cents. Nice. I think I spent only seven dollars. <laughs> well, myself selfish. Well, I, I got well, like a buttload of games. Like I, I bought a lot of games for other people. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I didn't it's see a anything. Great time to do your Christmas shopping because yeah. everything is on sale for yeah. five to yeah. ten dollars. Um, yeah, but I didn't. I'll use Steam. It's great. I didn't really see anything on there that I was like, I have to have this game like immediately, kind of thing. Yeah. So I got. Buy any. I got Stick of Truth for ten bucks, which I thought mm-hmm. was really good. Yeah. Oh, um, see, I got it for fifteen because it went on sale twice. Once. Yeah. Once for fifteen, and then like two days later for a lower price. No, well, it's funny. It's like I thought about getting. It's like I don't know if I should or I shouldn't. And then I won my fantasy league, and like just in time, like yep, buying it. And yep, so go. I got that. I got Transistor finally, so I'm really looking forward to that. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Curtis, you got me Nidhog and yes. um. Killer is Dead, which they're both. Yeah. Um, I haven't started Killer is Dead yet, but Nidhog is Nidhog. so much fun. <laughs> so, sh- do you want to describe Nidhog, or do you want Nib- me to describe Nid- Nidhog? I want you to correct me wherever I'm wrong. Okay. Um, go ahead. Nidhog is a 2D. It's a sword fighter essentially. It's just a 2D yeah. sword fighter. It looks like you know almost like 8-bit graphics, but it's a lot of fun, and it's one. It's not like a fr- one of the Friendship Ruiner games, but it's still just like it's pretty close. It's it gets there. <laughs> <laughs> but I know Curtis and I have played it. We we haven't played it much, but when we play it, it gets like super intense, very competitive. So, so one extra thing that uh, one essentially you have two guys and it's like a fencing game. Yeah, and one is orange and one is yellow. Is yes. that right? And so what happens when you stab the other person? Where they die, all this blood will go everywhere. Mm-hmm. That's that an orgy color. of violence. And so the funny part was Chase and I got stuck on this one part of the map. And you, each map is segmented, I think, three on each side or something yeah. like that. The goal is to get, if you start on the left, you have to go as far right as you can and yeah. vice versa. Oh, and I feel like versa. I've seen videos of this thing yeah, before. It's, yeah, really yeah. it's so much it's, fun. It's it's like stupid fun. Yeah. Um, and the we got, we got in such a heated fight on this one area. There was blood all over the entire stage. It was amazing. It was covered from left to right covered in blood it was just awesome it looked like a scene from saw like that much blood <laughs> everywhere it was awesome it was like kill bill yes it's kill called, bill called nid hog yes yes n-i-d h-o-g-g yes it is amazing it, it is, is a lot of fun it's your it's so your simple but so fun will love that game. yes you think so it you can two people can play on the same keyboard it is one of the most 
fun and yeah. furious, furiating things you could play. You two would probably love it or get a divorce. Yes. One of those two. <laughs> Char sometimes will punch me while we're playing that game. So. I believe sure, it. That, that's what they do. Right? So, She's Italian after all. Ah! Ah! Not, not ah! to make generalizations, but yeah, no. like to cheat. Yes. So. Um, <laughs> oh, you're going to pay for that one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, it's not like they watch it anyways. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I got. Um, I know Roommate went all out and he got me... Um, pre-sequel really? so I was, nice. I was really happy about that like my roommate loves like he's i think the only person that likes christmas more than him is buddy the elf from the movie elf <laughs> like he de he went all out and he did a really good job like he decorated the entire apartment so he got he had more That's money to awesome. spend so he got me pre-sequel so i'm grateful for that and i just got him this um, guy got me, got me um speed runner speed runner and i got speed you speed runners as well that that is that is a oh. that is a friendship rule. That's yeah. a friendship runner. But I think like even with us, like even when I do attack wow. you, it's so much fun. For those who've never played um, speedrunners, it's from uh, Tiny Build Games, the same people that did No Time to Explain. It's a lot of fun. I'd also recommend that. It's a little bit of a rage game, but it's still fun yeah. nonetheless. And it's very funny. You play as multiple superheroes, where the objective is to probably just get as far ahead from the others as possible. And oh, along the way, you have to jump up <coughs> with spikes. Um, crates, etc. And there's also, like, power abilities. Picture, like, Mario Kart, but with superheroes. Yeah. Okay. And I know okay. I got you that, Clay. I, de I definitely want to do an episode with that. Yeah, where we played fun. speedrun. It's like Mario Kart from hell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, because it's fun. Some of the crap you could pull. Chase and I pulled some of the meanest oh, things to each other. we were dicks. <laughs> So, yeah, think we'll about the that. banana peel, except for you can jump up and throw the banana peel right in their face while they're jumping. <laughs> yep. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's very fun. Anyways. Um, so, I thought, oh, those I thought were like some of the best deals in those games that I recommend. Oh, and also, Clay got me War of the North, which I don't know if it has yes. spiders in it or not. So, Dude, I'm Kurt, very tempted. I've done the first like yes. two levels in that thing, and there are no spiders yet. Okay. Not so, yet. Not so yet. I think you're okay. Don't say yet. Don't well, say we don't yet. know. We haven't beaten the game yet. We okay. have not yet play. encountered yeah. spiders after two hours of gameplay. Right. Oh, and Jamestown. Jamestown is a lot of fun. The uh, Legend of the Lost Colony. It's a uh, just like a nice little like bullet hell uh, starship shooter. Okay, so kind of like Ikaruga. Yeah, like Ikaruga, Galaga. Um, gotcha. Galaga. I mean, it's, that's basically Space like, Invaders, etc. Yeah, <laughs> it's still like, a lot of fun. Yeah. Um. All right. So moving on, those are the monies that we spent. I feel like we just like kind of bragged, like, ha, we had some money. Here's what we bought. Well, they were all cheap. To reference. Yeah, and that's I why I love were, Steam. Like less than five bucks. I you think can I cover spent. a lot of ground with Steam yeah. sales. If yeah, you're doing Christmas shopping. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I was actually a little bummed that we didn't see Valkyria Chronicles go on for a little bit cheaper. I would have bought you guys that one. I heard <laughs> that's fun. Is that the Final it's, Fantasy esque one? No, it's. Is that it's there is no game style. quite Valkyria like Chronicles. Valkyria Chronicles. It's a World War II, almost Final Fantasy tactics, but you can aim. So oh, like okay. it's in three D. So instead of like you know being a grid system, it's a full three D turn based third person shooter. Like I, I can't even. I'm having problems <laughs> describing it. Okay. It's, it's just very unique, and it's frustrating as hell, but it's easily one of the most unique games I've played, and it's also super addictive, and you get super into it. Yeah. Final Fantasy um, Tactics in 3D. Yeah, basically. I, I thought about getting Tales from the Borderlands, but it was... I think I'm not ready to purchase it yet, because I think it was, like, 18 was the lowest, and it's like, mmm... Or yeah. no, it wasn't 18, it was a 22, I think. It was the lowest I saw it. Yeah, I think that... I think it was on for 20 one day. It could have been. But, I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, moving on. Speaking of the opposite of PC gaming, as we were enjoying our festive internet, however, Xbox owners and PlayStation owners were not, as their networks were both hacked and got DDoS as well. Their denial of service, increasing their traffic, and having nobody able to get on. The group that was bragging about it was named "quote Lizard Squad," and already one arrest has been made. Do you think that oh, this good. could be? A possible trend to happen, or is this yeah. just like a punks, you know, trying to be dicks? No, this is. I I expect this will keep happening, right? Until they figure out a way to start blocking or bottlenecking their own 
uh, incoming traffic, so if they can contain that sort of behavior, I think people well, are going to keep doing it. Yeah, you know, this goes back to the Sony attack too. I mean, uh, it, it's a, it's more of an issue, I think, of uh, at least you know, in my opinion, it's people that have cybersecurity jobs who have no idea how to perform cybersecurity. You need to hire the people who are going after your system, not the people who have been around for a long time and maybe aren't keeping up on their skills or so on and so forth. I think, I think this is a big issue that a lot of companies are going to have to worry about in the near future is, is you know, do are we secure? Just, you know, I mean, look what happened with LawSec and uh, what was the other group? There was another big group a couple of years ago. That Anonymous. Was, Anonymous, who, who they never actually caught. I mean, those are the kind of people you need to be hiring to do cybersecurity. They know how to destroy your network. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's unfortunate that this sort of thing is happening around the holidays because all, the, yeah. all these people go out and buy these new consoles for their kids or you know for themselves, and then <clears throat> things don't work, so these things get returned, and you know, mm-hmm. it, it creates a lot of problems for the console makers who lose money on every console they make. You know, they only make money on the games, the games. they sell. And not only so. that, you're looking at people hacking into networks that could also steal a buttload of credit card information. They could be stealing so much more mm-hmm. because, let's face it, everybody puts their credit card information over the internet. Mm-hmm. And if you have poor internet security, mm-hmm. you're going to get screwed either way. You know, this is something that we also should talk about. I believe most networks are now accepting PayPal. I would highly recommend if any of you are still using credit cards, please use PayPal. It just gives you that extra layer of security. For those who don't know PayPal, can you explain what PayPal is? PayPal is kind of a service that I don't really know how to describe it, but it kind of adds an extra layer of security because it's essentially... Uh, gives them an extra person they have to go through. So a lot of times when I purchase things, you know, through Steam or through, um, you know, League of Legends for Riot Points and so on and so forth, um, I will almost always use uh, PayPal just because it gives me that little bit of an extra edge. If something strange comes up or it's more than it should be or something like that, I immediately get a message from PayPal saying, hey, something's not right here. Is that not not tied to your credit card, though? It is tied to my credit card. Okay, so are you paying an additional fee, or is no. the fee coming out of the amount you're already paying? It's I don't pay any additional cost. Okay, so uh, there is a fee, I'm sure, that they're There taking. is, it's but most coming, likely you, the companies are paying it, and I'm not bill- okay. footing yeah. the bill. Interesting. That's good. So, right. I mean, I've been using that for years, and I haven't had very many problems with it. Yeah. So I think it this problem... Hopefully, it doesn't escalate quickly, but speaking of quick, let's move on. We won't have a game today because stuff. Speak, but our <laughs> next topic is the uh, Games Done Quick uh, charity event going on right now on Twitch, which if you don't know what it is, and if you're like me who just found out about this five minutes ago, it is a charity live stream where people are attempting to speed run through a lot of popular games. The one I just watched was Legend of Zelda 2 uh, Link's Adventure was done in less than an hour. As of 6.30, huh. they've already raised $303,000, over $303,000 wow. um, wow. to the uh, Prevent Cancer Foundation, which uh, helps support early detection for cancer. Um, they've done a lot of other speed runs. Uh, they did another Zelda 2, which I had to stop halfway through. Apparently, a guy did... Final Fantasy VII in three hours. I think that's what he's trying to do. I don't yeah, think he he's attempting to do it. that. There's, um, I know we all know the typical Super Mario Brothers three in eleven minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, by the way, this is also like help brought on by the theyeti.com, Tiny Build Games, and somethingartistic.com. Oh, there's also a humble bundle, which if you donate money, you can get Oddworld Abe's Odyssey, Duke Nukem, Speedrunners as well with both the YouTuber packs. Um, a lot of great stuff. Um, a lot of great stuff going to a great cause. So you should definitely check that out. I know it's going on right now, as of you know January the sixth. Um, guys, I pose this challenge to you, or challenge or question: What game do you think you could possibly speed run, and at what in the, what amount of time? Oh. Well, let me ask a question real quick. Are they sure. are they racing? 
Like, do they have two people trying to speed run the same no. game? No, they're they're just saying I can do this in X amount of time, yeah. and then they oh, try okay. to make that. Like, for instance, uh, um, there's a video of a guy doing uh, Star Wars Dark Forces Two Jedi Knight, and he does it in 30 minutes, which okay. is kind of impressive because that's a relatively long game. I'm so glad you said the proper name of Jedi Knight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! So, Anyways, what game um, uh, do you think Star you guys can Fox do? Star Fox 64. You can power that's right like on that? rails, though. Yeah, that's the thing. So, I mean, could you really speed that up in, at all? Um, You cannot die doing it, I suppose. Uh, that's uh, that's a fair point. point. No, no, you have a point in that you're not actually speeding yourself forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're using the boost to get through. Yeah. <laughs> you can just keep holding down the boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah. Oh. Uh. I call it, I call it the next one. You go ahead. Um, I think I could. Well, if we're gonna if we're gonna go with like, I, I don't know if this one counts, but I'm pretty sure I could get to like 80 or 90 in World of Warcraft in probably less than a uh, maybe two three days of Are you nonstop five play. Minutes now with the boost to 90. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I'm gonna speed go up World of Warcraft. Here, one. I'm gonna do this. Pew! Literally one you. to max. I think I could. I think I've done it in like two days. Yep, so, I believe that. But I'm sure. I think. I mean, I don't know. Does that count? Because that's that's uh, an MMO. That's a little. That's, that's an MMO. Like I almost want to say, like, do like a game that you like. You have to actually like sit down and like okay, within a I day's could, time span at least. Uh, I might be able to beat the original Dragon Age in a day. I think I could probably do it in twenty hours or less. But, like, speed, speed, I, I don't know. It's harder to do that in games that require progression. Like, yeah, if I think yeah. of Pokemon, you can't speed You can't speed that. run through that. Because you have to level I think, Pokemon, and that takes forever. I know I um, speed run that Steam one. Train did Skyrim. They speed run through yeah, that. You could do that. Main storyline. Yeah. Um, I think with me, it's either two games. Like, I think I could do Mega Man X in an hour. Mm-hmm. And I think mm, if I did yeah. it, if I did it with only the X Buster, maybe an hour and a half to two hours. Like you're only using the X Buster to kill everybody, and that's it. Like no using the that's... like special weapons on like no Spark Mandrel Syndrome. Oh, okay. <laughs> so like that, uh, yeah. just use that. I mean, if I did the other way, I could probably maybe beat it in an hour because I love that I game. Think, I think mm -hmm. you could. Yeah. I think you could do that in an hour. I almost I thought about trying to do it without dying. That would be very difficult towards the that's, end. That's hard. Towards the end, that's it would be incredibly that difficult. That last boss? Yeah. That's the thing that's, like, I don't know if I can comfortably do that. Yeah. You know, Curtis, even a game like um, Dark Souls that has progression in it, you can get through I that one dark. because you can dodge. I I could like do in do Pokemon, that requires progression, but you can't dodge. If you're fighting a level 50 with level 5, you're going to you lose. Know, I, but if you're I fighting think... the, the final boss as a level 1... In Dark Souls, you can do that if you dodge correctly. I think you could potentially be Dark Souls in three to four hours. Yeah, if you're really good at dodging. Yeah. But right. I know someone. But it makes me look bad though because someone beat that game with a guitar controller. So I mean, what? That's ridiculous. Somebody has beaten Dark no Souls. No way. With a guitar controller. That's ridiculous. No, thank you. Yeah. That's not. It's awesome though because like sometimes I'll be like. Da -da! You know? I <laughs> thought about. Way. I thought about trying to do. I think I could probably do Super Mario World in less than 30 minutes because it's That's you have no because you just use star world it's the star world's glitch so okay. well not glitch it's okay. like you go find star world and you just go all the way up to the end so i would say maybe 30 to 45 minutes possibly no like what's i'm trying to the think the old uh, that... donkey kong was another good one that you could get through Whoa. pretty quickly can you do that one fast no though? you can't because you have to go through all wait old donkey kong country or donkey yeah, kong yeah. Country. no you can't do that i don't think so well, like, I mean, yeah, you, you progress through the level at your own pace, don't you? But, yeah, but I mean, not like, like in a speed. Well, no, I mean, you mm. could you could speed run it. But it'd be like it'd be... Super Mario, you know, uh, 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 world. It'd be like Mario Brothers. It's a platformer. But right? with Mario World, you can actually like warp to other areas. They cheat. They basically cheat. They it, don't it's beat essentially every yeah. level. Yeah, they beat, well, like well, three cheating. levels, and then they that go to the count. end, and then they... like the Super Mario Brothers three, they get count. the warp whistle twice, and then it's, they do that. 
Someone's beaten Orca in no time in like an hour or two, and I'm not sure. Is that? I don't know if that's even possible. Yeah, that doesn't seem possible. It's glitched. It's some sort of glitch that gives Glitches you something. Glitches shouldn't count. We're talking about executing well, the levels perfectly to get through it faster. Well, yeah. I mean, the war I mean, puzzle isn't a glitch. Like, that's like, it's a legit item is what you use. Yeah. If it's built into the game, sure. But if it's a, if it's a technical glitch where, you know, you're, you're falling through the world or something, that doesn't yeah. seem right. You don't count that, in my opinion. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like... Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know. I'm a weird. I don't like beating games with speed a lot of times. Yeah. I like to. Well, the first time I like to enjoy it. Yeah. Second oh, time, we're not talking about what we would do this. We're just saying, could we? Yeah. Do we have the skill? Yeah. Dark Souls would be difficult because I would think I would get to Ornstein and Smo, and then yeah. No. I would. No, thank you. I would like die. I've been meaning to replay the first one again. I. You would be pricking them with needles for ten minutes. To kill one of them, you know? No, but, I mean, you have to look at it in the fact that you have to kill all the bosses, right? Let's just say, for instance, you have to kill all the bosses, so you'd be leveling up. It's not a matter of leveling up. When you think about it, because you'd have the items, you'd have the levels. You wouldn't be able to use the majority of items, though. If you're just going through it once and not dying and not killing things, you know? Not, not dying? You'd you're have, not power leveling? You'd have a bunch of souls, then. I think Dark Souls actually lends itself really well to be speedrun by someone really good, because you'd level up, like... Yeah, you're not but dying. I don't know, because the whole point of the game is to die, reset, and do it better next time, so you kill things over and over and over again. Yeah. And then they got rid of it in two, because you can just eventually kill them until they're right, not Right, right, sure, but we're talking about one here. If you're trying to go know. fast, then you're not killing things multiple times. You're just trying to get through it all once I, as possible. I don't know, because like the second times I've played through Dark Souls, the original, I didn't die nearly as many times as I died the first time, and I was leveling up way faster than I was. I'm just looking at myself and this, my little viewfinder, and my eyes look awful. I look like a butch lesbian right now, <laughs> the way, way my hair is all set up. This is great. Now I've, now I've <laughs> found out why I'm single. Because I look like a lesbian, and also I have horrible skills with talking, but that's okay. <laughs> Jeez. This this got dark really. This fast. did get dark really quick. <laughs> Speaking of dark, do you think you can do Dark Souls in less than an hour or in less than three hours? Nope. Oh no. Nope. I mean, Maybe. we could. You know what we could do, which might be fun someday, is to put two of us on a three-hour timer and see who gets further. That could we could be fun. do that. Mm, I think Murph would win. Okay. Murph would win. I'm yeah. not sure we can include Murph in this competition. We'll give him we, first we place to. and see who gets second. How about we speed run speedrunners sometime? We'll do an episode like that where yeah. we'll talk and then we'll play speedrunners and that'll be fun. That, uh, that'll be a there fun one. Yeah, that'll be our new Risk of Rain episode. Have you guys played Risk of Rain since then? No. I haven't either. But I played it once and I was like, it's this is really much more fun with other people. It is to hear you guys like say, hey, oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's the... butt cat. <laughs> he literally had a butt for her face, and it's like, hey, here's butt cat gonna be spitting out venom. Meow, meow. Trying to mix them. You needed to see the faces that went along with those sounds, people. That was great. Yeah, you do. That's why I did. That's why I did when I was. With my family, it's just make stupid faces the entire time. Did you, you literally just made stupid faces the entire time you were with your family? Yep, I tried to annoy my sister the best as I could. Okay. So I just kept doing one thing. No wonder you had a miserable yes. car experience. <laughs> oh my god. My vacation uh, was fun. I enjoy spending time with my family sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to watch this. All right. Um,. It'll be that one time that they it will be the it. one episode, and I'm gonna get like an angry text from my mother, just going like, <laughs> "You're like spending, like spending time, time with us." With us? <laughs> we, we nailed uh, that pretty well. Yeah, yeah, we, we did. Well. Great job. Just for reference, if you're listening to this, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you are the greatest person ever. And if you're listening to this, mother, I love you too. I love you more than Curtis. Yes. He does, because he's her son. I'm sorry. Wait, now, more than Curtis loves her, or more than you love Curtis? Ooh, that's oh, a good question. Man. Choose I'm carefully. Sure I... As to what you meant. Uh -huh. Or is it both? Or Hold not? on, let me mute, let me get Curtis out of the conversation real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll answer this. <laughs> it's okay, you can say you love your mother more, it's alright. I, I, I love my mother more. Because she birthed you, you she, should love your mother more. Yes. We should move on now. We should. Anyway, I think this is like the most entertaining part. It's like I should just promote it. <laughs> hey, 
Just stay till the end. That's the most entertaining part of the podcast. We have a mildly homosexual moment. Was yeah. I was listening like the Steam train. I was watching um no not Steam train. It was Game Grumps uh right before we started, and they start talking like the top five like um people they'd go gay for, and I just thought, do gay people have like the top five celebrities they'd go straight for? Yes, they do. Oh, okay. I, I have a friend I play D and D with who is gay, and he totally does. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Well, that it's, that philosophical it, discussion ended quickly. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I had to point. That I wanted out. to get like the yeah. Velociraptor, just like the. Do gay people have a top five celebrities <laughs> they go straight that for? Stupid meme. I, I love that, that meme. <laughs> no, I just discovered the <laughs> "I wish I could talk to ponies" meme. Have you seen those? Uh, no. Oh my gosh! It's so dark, but it's so fun. It's <laughs> um. This like little girl, she like discovers a fairy, and, like, and it always starts like, "Here's a fairy. I could grant you one wish. I want to speak to ponies." And the pony's like this most awful person, and be like, "You don't deserve rights, Deborah." Oh. <laughs> what? It's like this horrible pony, and of course like, he says like some anti-Semitic stuff, and he, like he says like a lot of like really offensive stuff. But I think those. I, I I just love punsky. Oh, I Chase, love Punsky. Chase, Chase penned that that word for it, but the the husky that looks like it's making a joke is like, no, okay. <laughs> Anna Kendrick, I love that dog. I know, because like all the jokes are just so bad. But it's like that face just sells it every time. For on memes, have you guys seen the the uh, Rick Grimes dad joke one? Oh, the uh, yeah, the dad Rick, joke. Rick, like, yeah, where he's like telling Carl, and he's like. Do you know what today is, Carl? It's Mother's Day. Mother's Day, Carl. He's like, Dad, Mom's dead. He's like, it's Mother's Day. So, anyway, uh, I like the one that's like, Carl. I named my t- my iPod Titanic because it's sinking, Carl. It's sinking. <laughs> I feel like if I watched the show, I'd get that more. And it's just the scene where he looks like really distraught, but at the same time, it looks kind of like he's laughing. That's all you need to know. It's right after his wife dies, basically. Oh, okay. It's... Spoiler alert. <laughs> never watched Walking oh, Dead. Oh, that was like three seasons ago. I mean, Norman Reedus is still alive, so I might actually watch yes. the show. Now, what's funny is like he was the only reason I'd watch it in the first place, because I like Boondock Saints. Now he's like gotten even bigger, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love Daryl. like, you haven't even watched Boondock Saints. You don't even know. He's, he's pretty badass yeah. in that show. By the way... I got a new mouse, and it's weird because, like, I originally had to retire my Tron mouse. I, I like how we just got so off topic, I don't care. Um, I had to retire the Tron mouse, which made me really sad because, like, I had, like, bagpipes playing in the background as I boxed it back up. But, like, I got the Corsair. Uh, let me see if I can get a good visual of it because this cord is tiny. It's a Corsair um, Saber. Shaba. And it's, like, Shaba. it's so fat. Like, I like that it lights up and everything. That's what kind of turned me on to it. But it's like, I have to, like, forefinger it. I can't get the good visual. I have to, like, forefinger it, and I hate that. Because, like, why is my middle finger here? It needs to be here. Like, normal people. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I use yeah. a very basic Logitech wireless yeah. mouse. Well, I went on Razer's website, and they're like, oh, what type of... How do you handle your mouse? Are you a claw type? Are you a <laughs> hand layer type? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Way too specific. No, am, I, it, am I a claw uh, man? Am I a flat man? Am I an ass man? I could be a boob if man. You're, if you're a normal person, you're probably a flat. Yeah. You, like, uh, the claw is weird because it's like this. Yeah, it's like, it's uh, just the tips. But the, it's just the, the, the tip old- of it. The only reason I know this is because I used to sell those products, and that was an actual question. Be like, so when you when you hold your mouse, do you squeeze it? So I'm I'm like dissecting my hand on the mouse as you guys are saying. Yeah, I, <laughs> and it's I like use, I use one finger per button, and yes. my ring and pinky finger are basically floating useless. Yes, that's, I'm only that's using three long. fifths of my hand's potential here. Yeah, well, I'm, and I'm that's. Realizing. And that's the weird thing is because there's mice that have buttons on both sides. And I could have a mouse with four top buttons and a thumb button. There was a mouse that no, had like it's two two side buttons for your thumb, and then there would be two buttons on the on the right side of your or left side, depending on if yeah. you're right handed or left handed, um, to, for your ring finger and pinky finger. Yeah, because the Tron mouse had that. Um, but there was a mouse. It was loaded like I think it was the MMO mouse that had. The standard set of like the two mouse wheel, one in the, one like on top, two on the side, and then a buttload of like I think it was like 
12 buttons on the side straight for macros. It's like, that's ridiculous. Did Josh, did Josh have something like that? I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I feel like he had something weird like that where you stick your literally your whole I hand in. the hand pad thing. It wasn't a mouse. Oh, yeah, yeah. It had like, it a, like a keyboard. Almost or like something. a glove you wore. Yeah. But it was yeah. I feel like. Yeah. With those type of mice, it's like it, you're compensating for something. It's like, how small is your penis? With a, with like, <laughs> I have that bit. I have that crazy of a mouse that has 18 different buttons. How tiny are you? But, but the mouse is a very private object. You're not showing that off to the world. It's true. Well, it's not like a Hummer. Reference. See, adequate. He's not compensating <laughs> for anything. It has a total of four, well, five if we count the mouse wheel button, but I mean, yeah, five. mine has eight, so it's like, Jesus. I mean, I, that's what my Tron mouse had, and so I'm, I'm trying to go based off of that because I tried to get as close as I could, but instead I got this yeah. fat mouse. Oh my god! But it does light up, so I do like that. And I think that's go. what kind of sold me on that over the Logitech. My mouse is weird. Every time I touch it, it blows. <laughs> it's really weird. Like it's a, it's a Naga. Death Adder. Oh, Every, I'm sorry, yeah. Razor Death Adder. Everybody like kept uh, saying like that's the mouse to get. So I go to Best Buy and they don't even have it. No, you have to buy it online. That's stupid. Like, My headset uh, does that every time you guys talk. It glows. I know. It's. Hi. <laughs> yeah, there it goes. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> Drop the bass. Digger 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 digger. Coded. No, it's beep, actually beep, going beep, with beep, the dubstep too. It's like. Beep beep beep. beep. Now you have to watch the YouTube video to actually enjoy that. Watch the end; it's the best part. Well, we were like listening to this on podcast card, like, what is going on? What are they doing? Why is Skrillex a guest star? So we we apologize. Some of us are still medicated from the flu, and we're questioning everything. We are questioning everything, but it's not like Clegg's wedding questioning. It's just, we're just, <laughs> <laughs> that will be a story for another time, maybe at a convention. Oh, we will, we will never, ever tell that story. Oh, man. In this podcast. It, not in this podcast. At least not recorded. No, no. Not recorded. All right. So, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. If you're watching us on YouTube, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and, uh, you know, maybe leave a comment, ask us a question. Who knows? We'll actually talk about it on the show. No one asks us questions yet. Um, feel free to also subscribe to our podcast on either iTunes or Podcast Garden. You can follow me on Twitter at Chase Bunker. And also follow the show on Twitter at that underscore game underscore show. Because, once again, that idiot took that game show. Gosh, I'm so better. I'm still better. So... For Curtis Coe and Daniel Clegg, Murph Murphy, get back here so we can have more fun conversations and stop doing important stuff. I am Chase Bunker. Have a great night, and we will talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.